it's been one year since Elon Musk officially bought Twitter. Under his leadership, Twitter is lurching from chaos to crisis. Let's look back at his year in charge. Within days, he lays off half his staff and slashes the team's moderating content on the platform. Then he wants to end Twitter's lords and peasants system, so he says anyone can buy a blue check for $8 a month. Waves of new accounts impersonating big names cause some real problems, to say the least. Meanwhile, CCDH's research shows that Twitter begins to get really toxic. The volume of hate speech on Twitter skyrocketed. Then Musk reinstates accounts previously banned for breaking Twitter's rules, including hate speech and disinformation. CCDH reviews 10 of these accounts, and guess what? They're spreading vile hate and lies, again. Members of Twitter's trust and safety council resign, citing our work, and four days later he disbands the whole thing. Musk bans some critical journalists. Linda Yaccarino joins the sinking ship, and Twitter is rebranded to X. He then scraps the feature allowing users to report misleading information, and ditches the election integrity team ahead of key votes worldwide. But wait, Musk decides he's still not done with journalists. The next change is to hide headlines from links. But in between all these brilliant ideas, the chief twit has one more moment of inspiration. He sues CCDH because our research shows that he's failing to stop X from becoming a cesspit of hate and lies. So instead of making X safer, the richest man in the world is trying to silence independent researchers. What a truly remarkable year.